That's just a little sample of my song called Into the Wormhole. First, before we start, I want you to just listen to the drum rhythm. I'm going to have you tap to the beat. So you get into a little bit of that, it's 90 beats a minute. Get into that little bit of drum rhythm, like quarter notes. A little bit here, I'm going to show you how to get into eight, eighth notes. I'm going to show you a little trick. Really helpful, and it would help me out uh, a lot. Okay, now let's do a little bit of palm muting. Okay. Okay. How about you, but I'm getting a little bored. Okay, let's try to let's kick it up a notch. I'm going to show you trick. Now use the same drum rhythm. Just bump it up to 180 beats a minute. Okay. I'm going to show you. Okay. Just listen to it first. Okay. Just listen to it. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, in a little bit we're gonna go back to 90 beats okay we're gonna do the same exact thing you will be in eighth notes okay watch Song 
called the warning. Okay. All right, now let's see. It's like little chromatic like power chords up and down on the uh, E and A string. I think they're kind of cool. Now, anybody want to go a little faster? Yeah, I think I do. Let's step her up to 120. Okay. Let's hear it. Now we're doing palm muted wrist, but like I said, we're doing this at first. Then we're going to do a little bit of leads with them. I'm going to switch guitars here soon, okay? This, this is just to get you into rhythm so you can write your own riffs, licks, and stuff like that. Getting into the eighth notes, okay? I'm gonna just do quarter notes. Schaefer, I used to be really good work on those uh, rhythms. Now I'm going to change the drum beat, okay? We're going to go to a hard rock type drum rhythm. A little bit of here we're going to be done and I'm going to switch guitars. So, what do you think we got to do for fun? 160. Just listen to it, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
D sharp ultra Phrygian, which is the seventh mode of the Hungarian minor scale. Okay, now we did some of the palm muted rhythms. We're going to switch guitars. I'm going to switch effects too. Okay, Go. let's see. back to uh, go back to the other drum rhythm let's do back to 90 or yeah okay rock type feel 90 beats okay now like I said we're gonna do the eighth notes here we go One string runs and stuff like that. Really good. Basically, could be working A minor here. Okay. I was 
of alternating the beats between quarter and eighth notes. idea of rhythms just keep working on rhythms keep playing with rhythms even though you're making mistakes sometimes there's a little bit of mistakes back there I was trying to sometimes I have a bad habit of uh, trying to make things up on a spot sometimes they work out great other times they don't work out so good <laughs> kind of like what Ingve says he says every guitar solo is improvised he says Wonder how thin can you, I mean, how how far can you go on that ice? You know, how thin is that ice? You know, sometimes I try to do what he, he does. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Like he says, like, we well, you know something's good that you're making. You know, you're, you can hear it, okay? Your ears will tell you, okay? Now, what do you think? I think I'd... Let's pump her up just a little bit more, huh? Just for fun. Let's go to... Oh yeah, let's change the rhythm. Let's do... One seventy. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to try to work with quarter notes and eighth notes. This is all 170 beats a minute with a hard rock type feel, okay? I'm going to try to do this 
five octaves. some of the scales faster than I can slower. Just how I guess it's just how it is with me. Like I said, hope everybody's getting a good idea of rhythms. Work between the quarter and the eighth notes. Okay? See I'm gonna do a little bit of sweeps here. lesson was useful for everybody. Like I said, just take your time, work with the different drum rhythms. If you're having trouble uh, going in and out of quarter and eighth notes, I suggest you work with 180, work with 180, playing quarter notes, then go to 90 beats a minute, treat it like it's 180 beats, okay? You'll see it'll just fall right in place. You'll get an idea, then you just go in and out of quarter, and eighth notes. Then once you do it enough, you'll be able to mess with other beats, you know, beats per minute and drum rhythms, and it'll just, just come natural. It takes time. Practice, work on your licks, work on palm muted riffs. Uh, that was only some, some examples I give you. Obviously there's many, many, many more examples out there. Okay, remember, the best guitar solo lick or song and riff that you can make is the one you make up on your own, okay? Until next time, guys, remember, keep on rocking and keep shredding.